previously on AFV. America's Funniest Home Videos. We'll visit the Department of Duh. See some clever canines. Oh, some brand new practical jokes. Tom plays head gutter groin. And more of your favorite videos. We're AFD. And now, from out of the shadows and into your hearts, it's Tom Bergeron! Thank you. Very nice, thanks so much. Welcome, welcome to our little show, AFE. You know, even after all these years, it's still hard to categorize this program. It's a comedy show, maybe? A variety show? Reality show? In fact, we like to think of it as an educational show. Think about this. Name another program that shows this many people learning their lessons. <laughs> Whatever it is you caught there, throw it back. Hello, base camp. The Sherpa stole my motorcycle. Kelly! I don't know what's in that bag, but I hope it's conditioner. <laughs> Apparently, the buck doesn't stop here. Here's Jake and the sumo tube. Oh, there goes little Urkel. He's going to go down the slide on the hot dog in the sumo tube. There he goes. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines for the feline 500. Go, girl, go. All right, let JC have a turn. Go ahead, JC, your turn. I know he's in last place, but I still don't think he should have taken that shortcut. <laughs> now set the parking brake. Good job. <laughs> the perfect target for a practical joke has to have three traits. They need to be unsuspecting, they need to be gullible. And most importantly, they need to be incapable of beating you to a pulp after the joke is over. If you're gonna pull a fast one, pick somebody slow. <laughs> Some gags are sophisticated, but this guy sticks with the classics. Make sure you get that lid on. Took the hinges off Johnny's door, so when he opened it, it's gonna fall. That one hole up, and block all your holes, and then you blow through it. So 
that's how you play the blues. Oh, I <laughs> when you live in a dorm, you always have to be ready. For some jokes, the morgue, the merrier. Actually, you don't harm anybody, just... <laughs> Step one, blow the egg out of a shell. Step two, Blow your son's mind. Put your magic towels over your heads. Now, I'm going to go abracadabra, focus, focus. Then I made all the egg yolk gone. See? All the egg yolk gone. You try it. You got to say abracadabra, focus, focus. Put your magic cloth over here. Abracadabra, focus, focus. I'm down with Ocus Pocus. Uh, all right, put the fork down. Now look at Mama, and now uh, smash it on your head. <laughs> if you can read this, you're in the wrong place. It's the Department of Duh. This might not be Texas, but it's still a chainsaw massacre. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He can clap his hands behind his back, and he can do a push-up, but not at the same time. Be careful, that table has a one hottie limit. <laughs> this is what I'd call a queen size catastrophe. You can't go wrong with an ATV on AFV. <laughs> you think you're feeling pain at the pump? How do you think the pump feels? Escalator, alligator. Somebody told me that little bitty small dogs actually live longer than the big dogs. Now, I don't know if that's technically true, but it always feels that way. If you live next door to one of those yippy little buggers that barks morning, noon, and night, somebody went, mm-hmm, over there. <laughs> Check out these little mutts with big personalities.
your funny video to abc.com. Welcome back. Good to have you with us. You know, you have to hand it to animals. They know how to express anger well, in a healthy fashion. There's no letters to the editor, no livid phone calls, no whining on a blog. Just a little growling and biting and bingo, we've reached an agreement. We agree, we'll leave them alone. Now stand, stand. <laughs> he isn't gonna hurt you. <laughs> what did you expect? He's just living up to his name. <laughs> You can take the lizard out of the wild, but you can't take the wild out of the lizard. Dear. <laughs> Don't freak out, Jerry. Don't freak out. Jeez, just step. <laughs> I don't know if he's a given, but he's doing some taking. <laughs> You can't go in the pool when there's a life dog on duty. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get goading. Don't feel sorry for the kid. I think he stole that bird's bike. So I am small. You think he's wincing now? Just wait. Wait, you look like you're constipated. <laughs> Proficient with a computer, you have to be familiar with the terms like RAM, ROM, BYTE, and FIREWALL. However, to enjoy these videos featuring computers, you only have to know one term. Uh-oh. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. Papa. Say hi. Hi. Say, how are you? You know what he's doing. He's looking for his mouse. <laughs> hey. I don't know. Don't you hate it when your computer crashes? <laughs> oh, that's good for the screen, right? <laughs> I swear, the dog really did eat my homework. You know, kid, I think you've got bigger problems than just getting caught on tape. Tell me if you've ever seen this dorky guy in your life. He doesn't have any fashion sense. He tries to help out, but only makes things worse. And he never knows how to act his age. Normally, you wouldn't hang out with a guy like that, but you have to. He's your dad.
There's a reason Dad is wearing all that padding. Apparently, his balance is thrown off by the weight of his beard. <laughs> I don't like the current situation. It's not much of a deep end, but he still goes off it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> inner tube, oh, inner face. Oh, no. <laughs> Honey? I didn't have the keys to the car and I tried to put my hand in there to uh, unlock the door and my arm stuck, okay? <laughs> and it hurt, so please help me. I'm in my underwear, first of all, tube socks. How do I help him? Can you help him, Jaden? Please don't pull me. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> If you'd like to see your video on America's Funniest Home Video, send it to us at AFV, P.O. Box 4333, Hollywood, California, 90078. Or you can send your video by uploading to the AFV homepage at ABC.com. For full contest rules, log on to ABC.com or write the address above. Remember, you can't win if you don't send it in. Got or groin, the game we're getting hit isn't a question of if, it's a question of where. Monica and Mark from Florida, who have told me they are going together for tonight. <laughs> as far as I know, Mark and Monica aren't even their real names, have volunteered to help me out. You ready to play? Yes. You start a clip, we'll stop it, then you have to decide where the person is going to get hit in one of these three areas. All right, first up, one of the traditional uh, stalwarts of AFE, a skateboarder. Okay. All right, gravity is about to wreak its revenge on him. What do you think, Monica? Head, gut, or groin? Head. Head, mm -hmm. and uh, Mark? Oh, I'm gonna go with the gut. With the gut? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you've had your first argument on your first <laughs> night as a couple. All right, we have a head, we have a gut, let's see. It's a groin-free clip, let's hope. Let's roll the rest. Oh, Monica, you got it, hit. All right, sorry, Mark. There we go. Next up, chance to redeem yourself. A friendly snowball fight. Look at that, using the child as a barrier. Oh, that is like the most weaselly dad thing to do in the world. <laughs> Can't hit me if the baby's here. Can't hit me if the baby's here. What do you think, Monica? Head, gut, or groin? Mm, groin. Yeah, you can feel free to, uh, you, you think of groin? <laughs> Who's groin, though? The, the little persons or the big persons? Big person. Big person's groin. And Mark? Uh, I'm going to go with the little kid is the groin. Okay, so <laughs> we're coming closer it's, to agreement. We're getting creative here. Right, we're just, uh, we just have a disagreement about whose. All right, so it's the groin hit, you think? Let's roll the rest of the snowball tape. <laughs> yeah! All right, you both get it, because that's all we're looking for is the body part. <laughs> and finally, this is, this is one of my favorites in, in this game. This is a teenager in a locker room, and, and you'll note he's got a golf ball and a slingshot, and he is in a room of cinder block walls. Real oh. smart. Let's start that one. 
Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. He's aiming a slingshot at a cinder block wall. We'll start with you, Mark. Well, I'm feeling the pain in the groin right now, so. Uh... Well, it's your first date. <laughs> 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 and Monica. Um, I'll go with the head. The head. So we have one groin, one head. Let's see what the slingshot brings us. <laughs> this isn't going to be pretty, I can tell. <laughs> oh! Right in the face. You got it. Yeah, painful three. Very nice. Good job, and may your relationship last the whole week. <laughs> In Hollywood, that's saying something. Thanks for playing, and enjoy this little extra bonus AFE on DVD to call oh, your very you. own. Thanks, guys. We now go back to our regularly scheduled mishap. Nicely done. I think someone owes a thank you note to the guy who invented the roll bar. When I heard he dropped a log in the woods, this isn't what I picture. <laughs> I have to have a video. Today, he bought the bat. Tomorrow, a helmet. You know you're in trouble when the banner's tougher than your teeth. Boy, that cat's got a lot of nerve. <laughs> she catches. Usually, the fish is the one that got away. This guy is so good, he's convinced me never to do this. <laughs> they are the world's worst rappers. Now it's time for Who's Behind the Door? Is it the big-tongued bovine, this cute little kitty, or Uncle Lou? Find out when AFE returns. Welcome back to Who's Behind the Door? Did you say it was the big-tongued bovine, the kitty, or Uncle Lou. If you said it was the cow or Uncle Lou, guess again. Oh, shut the door, quick, shut the door. See you next time on Who's Behind the Door. Dogs are such a big part of our families that some people even dress them up. You've seen it in little sweaters as if they're human. All I can say is if I had a family member who only wore a sweater and no pants, they're out of there. Here are some dogs who are always welcome in my home. Look, it's the Boston Dangler. Cadet toy. Cadet toy. Good boy. Do it again. Part bed. Run fast. Part sled. Good boy. <laughs> Sometimes two heads aren't better than one. Do you think you can be sad? 
<laughs> good boy, good boy. Okay, ready? Be sad. <laughs> good boy. The dog wants to stay out the pool. Look. <laughs> you can't get rid of her. Look. <laughs> It's so cute, it's worth all that hair and the filter. <laughs> what the hell is he doing in the backyard? Usually the dog catcher is not another dog. This year, this year, the world's oldest person turned 115. Now, since this is our 19th season, that means when we first came on the air, she was only 96 years old. <laughs> Practically a baby. Well, baby might be an exaggeration, but odds are she was being pushed in a stroller and eating really soft food. <laughs> anyway, it's great to know we're both still going strong. I said we're both going strong! <laughs> Her doctor recommends at least eight seconds of exercise every week. Canoe? Because he sure can't. If you're hungry, I know this great hole in the wall. <laughs> From the looks of this, her experience was not dolphin safe. Down. What's that girl? There's a boy trapped in a well without any sweatpants. <laughs> There's a reason why he practices out in the middle of nowhere. It's just another garden variety fall. <laughs> Every great artist has their favorite medium. Some like watercolors, others prefer oil paint. Now here's a girl who created her masterpiece with a magna doodle. <laughs> All right, Kate, what is that? What is that, Kate? <laughs> Whose butt is that? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a pretty good picture. Did you do that all by yourself? Yeah. Did James pose for you? Yeah. So you drew it when uh, you drew it when James was bent over in front of you? Oh, that's a very good picture. <laughs> A kid can learn a lot on a playground. They learn about gravity from jumping off a swing or centrifugal force by going around on a merry-go-round. They even learn vocabulary from the choice words that come out of dad's mouth when he falls off the seesaw. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 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 
Send us your funny video by uploading to the AFE homepage at abc.com. When I first became a dad, everybody warned me about the terrible twos. Well, they don't mention the torturous threes, the frustrating fours, the foul mouth fives. Some kids, they just never outgrow the naughty. He's sharing his noodles. Nice. And he's sharing his soup. <laughs> I left Jasmine in the car for just a couple of minutes. That's it we got here. We got Sharpie all over the side down there. And then we got it over here all over the dash. I don't really see anywhere else. But then I look right over here. And I see the old Jasmine. Daddy. Sharp. Jasmine, what's on your hand? I know. What what were you doing in here? I know if I got. Were you playing with the pen? Mm -hmm. Should you be playing with the pen? Mm -hmm. In the car? <laughs> Samuel pushing. Pencil is pulling. Grandma's getting all the exercise she needs. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna need the calcium in that milk to help him recover. Oh, no! When you're fighting four-year-olds, you gotta expect them below the belt. has taken various steps to help people affected by plummeting home values, but I think they've finally given up. They just declared this Depreciation Appreciation Week. <laughs> I don't think that'll make people feel any better, but maybe these videos will. My hand. Oh, what's up? Hey, Mr. Big. Careful, he's gonna spackle your crackle. I get a feeling he's not a dox hound. Reindeer good, emu bad. I just stole a biscuit. He stole a biscuit. I wouldn't want that thing in my house. She screams too loud. Forecast calls for heavy snowfall. I don't know if he loves the view or hates the curtains. The 
you may not be aware, but there is a heated debate going on in this country, and we are not ones to shy away from a controversy. We want to find out exactly which is the funniest breed of dogs. We've seen pugs. We've seen Boston Terriers. Tonight, we want to see your bulldogs. <laughs> like looking at a naked Winston Churchill, isn't it? So get out your camera, because we are bullish on Bulldog. Okay, Bulldog owners, now is your chance to prove once and for all what a great dog your Bulldog is. Does he do any funny tricks? Does he eat in a funny way? Does he snore loud enough to wake the neighbors? Your Bulldog could earn you ten or even $100,000 in our contest. So don't let the poodles and pugs get all the glory. Show America that the Bulldog is king by sending your videos to us right here at AFV. P.O. Box 4333, Hollywood, California, 90078. Or you can send your video by uploading to the AFB homepage at abc.com. For full contest rules, log on to abc.com or write the address above. So go ahead, take the bulldog by the horns and send us your video. And now, we come to the wallet-fattening portion of our show. It's time to meet our three nominees. First up, Hula for the Moolah, sent in by Jeff Easley from Frisco, Texas. You're doing a good job, man. Next up, trying to score some ka ching, is Window Pain, sent in by Chastity and Scott Anderson from Anderson, Indiana. Right there. <laughs> oh, the other way. <laughs> and the final contender for tonight's big prize, Soup Spitting Siblings, sent in by Mark Newman and family from Bel Air, Texas. He's sharing his nice. noodles. <laughs> and he's sharing his soup. <laughs> Our audience has seen the three nominees. It is time to vote now. And while they vote, let's give a great big thank you to our honorable mentions. Results of our voting, our third place $2,000 winner is Window Pain, sent in by Chastity and Scott Anderson from Anderson, Indiana. And the winner of the $10,000 in tonight's funniest home video is Hula for the Moolah, sent in by Jeff Easley from Frisco, Texas. Hey, Jeff, how are you? And we have Sister Aubrey here, and Mom, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. And the star of the show, we have JC here. JC is, what, three years old? You yeah. three years old? Yes. Is that right? You're very good with the hula hoop. Yes. You look so good, I didn't even notice there was no hula hoop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and has he gotten uh, any better at the hula hoop? No, unfortunately not. But hey, look, if he was good at it, worked out pretty well for us yeah, this time. Yeah, so. You wouldn't have won 10 grand if he was really good. Exactly. <laughs> well, we'll be seeing you again for the $100,000 show a little down the road this season. So work on the hula hoop, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Congratulations, everybody. Bye, Aubrey. Take care. Take care.
That is all she wrote, and by she, I mean four pasty writers hunched over a keyboard. We'll see you soon, and remember, if you get it on video, you could get it in cash. Good night, everybody. <laughs>